Before we begin the more active portion of our practice, we'll do some wrist and foot flexes So, and make some circles with our hands and feet. Starting with the hands, we'll bring the hands forward and then make a fist and put the hands just next to each other so that the knuckles are touching. We'll begin some slow rolling, keeping the knuckles in touch with one another. This is very good for preventing carpal tunnel and general stiffness of the joints. Working with our hands and wrists, which we so often forget need our attention. So going nice and slow, staying with the breath, and then taking these circles in the opposite direction. Staying focused and still and calm. Keeping that contact with the knuckles all the way around. Then extending the hands straight forward, sitting tall, lifting the heart and sitting nice and tall. Then bringing the palms, the hands up, tuck the thumb, and roll the fingers down and squeeze. Open the hand, flex really wide, the fingers as wide as you can make them. Then tucking the thumbs and rolling the fingers down, squeezing, opening the hand. Wide, wide fingers, energetic all the way through to the fingertips. And once more, tucking the thumbs, bringing the fingers down, squeezing. Inhale the hands up, open, shake it out, and relax the hands down to your sides. Working with the feet. Let's press the knees together first and sit tall. Bring the feet straight forward. Extending the toes. Pointing the toes. Flexing the feet. Wide toes. Opening the toes. Exhaling to point. Open. Flexing the heels. And once more, pointing the toes and flexing. Let's begin to make outside circles. Just bending at the ankles slightly and making big rotations. Opposite direction. Good job. And this concludes our segment on wrist and toe flexing.